Hello, Bumpy Mix Quiggums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Risen, the original game. This is episode 28, and we are here once again, where we left off in the last episode. I believe we are fully healed, and we are ready to do some stuff. I don't know what exactly the stuff is, but we are ready to do something. I think we're going to head down into the little alcove down there that we have not quite finished yet, and we are going to slaughter some wolves and other various animals and creatures and things. And it's going to be fine. So, that's the plan, that's the goal, that's the dream, and that is exactly what we are going to do. So, some free roam murder is going to happen, as well, it did last episode. And it looks like we have uh, some Mothman prophecies to behold and annihilate. Oh, Talamoth got all froggy on me. The moth did it. And he's gonna get mothified up in the hizzy. I don't, I don't know. I got nothing else. Feeling pretty good, though. I exerted myself greatly today, as there was about three-ish feet of snow. And I had to go dig everything out. My car was left on the street, so it got completely covered in snow. And that took, like, almost an extra hour to dig out. But my baby decided that she was going to man up, or woman up as she is a she. And uh, she started right up, and yeah, ripped herself right out of the snow, and it was sweet, sweet, nice. And I was pretty proud of her. She's had battery issues and starting over the winter uh, problems the last couple of years. So, the fact that I hadn't driven her in about a week and a half, and she started right up like a little bossess, like a little mini boss, supervisor, I don't, I don't know, whatever she is. She started up, and I kind of dug out around behind her. There was like four feet behind her. It was about as high as the car was. So dug all that out, got out from under the tires. We did a little bit of stuff up near the front tire on the left side, because the right side's up against the curve. Curve? Curb, rather, sorry. I decided to throw a V in there instead of a, a B. Anyhow, long story short, she was like, you know what? I got this. That was an ant. I got this. Don't even worry Damn. your your funky little head about it, which is weird because I, I don't feel that I have a funky head, but yeah, whatever. My car does what she wants. And I uh, put it in reverse and bzzz, I moved. I'm like, ooh. So then I went forward again. <clears throat> and then I flew. Well, I didn't floor it, but I put it in reverse pretty hard and I flew right out over the uh, stuff blockading me. Came to a stop and dusted off the snow and backed her up into the clean driveway that I made. It was pretty good. It was a good thing, guys. But after that, I was pretty, I was pretty beaten up. I gotta tell you, that was a lot of exertion. That, well, quite frankly, I'm not used to doing. It, so, I will not tell a lie. It was, it was pretty strenuous and stressful for me. But as I said, I manned up. I handled it, and well, that's what you do when you gotta do what you gotta do, or something. I don't know. But, that's how I started my Thanksgiving today. Woke up late, around noonish, one, something like that. And I went and I, I removed snow from the driveway, so... There we go. And my wife, in all of her omnipotent intelligence and glory, some more ore. decided that not only did she want some more ore, she decided that leaving the back window open was a good idea. Even though she was well aware of the storm incoming, she still felt like leaving the window open was a good and clever and smart thing. Die, wolf. And down you go. Look at that. Own the black wolf. He did nothing to me. I just wrecked his face. I was like, chickity chick, chickity 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 rat. I don't know. Uh, I started good and then I lost it. It's fine. Wiggy wiggy whack, wiggy whack, wiggy wiggy whack, something like that. It's fine. It's all well and good. You better chiggity chiggity check yourself before you riggity riggity wreck yourself. Something like that. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Yes. Maybe. Nobody knows. I don't know. You don't know. It's fine. Either way, we're farming up some uh, manin stuff. So spiky little deal over there. We're gonna come over here into the mystical misty waters of this weird waterfall thing. Let's see if there's a hidden wall or a cave behind it. There is not. That was a pretty large waste of our time, effort, and energy. But we did get to come over here. We got some sort of random potion. We killed a wolf. We leveled up. I guess in the grand scheme of things, finding this little alcove to be lacking in extra special surprises still wasn't too horrible. Either way, folks, we're going to continue on exploring out in the wild. 
weapons. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully we don't die a horrible death. We're going to save here. And I am going to sneeze, and I have done so, and I think I dislocated my body when I sneeze, which probably is bad. I generally like my body not to be dislocated, so yeah, I'm going to lean toward the bad side of things. Alright, we could go up, or we can go over here, take a look down into the depths. There's a swamp, I see some sting rats in the, the distance. I don't hear or see any bog bodies. There's a lot of moles around. Oh, and there's one of those nasty worm things. Nope. Yeah, uh huh. You might have gotten one hit on me. It's fine. Oh dear. What in the world is that horrible sound? Yeah, there's definitely some more of them uh, nasty plague worms or whatever those things are called. I can't recall their name specifically, but. They are definitely out there, and they are lurking, and they want blood, and they want human flesh, and they want to eat it, and then poop it out, but I, I'd rather not become a worm poop, so I'm going to try to avoid that for now, at least as long as I can. And while I'm alive, I'm going to try to avoid becoming worm poop. Nice. Talon. Okay, Talon Moth. Fine. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that double attack. Okay, okay. Still got this. And boom. Get owned, fool. Get owned. Alright, there we go. We're drinking one of our larger potions of, of living and not dying. And hopefully it keeps us, well, alive. It is a potion of living and not dying. Ooh, we got a nasty chest. Gotta start try. again. So we go right, left, left, right. Left, right. Job well done. Ah. And boom, we get a super amazing, awesome, ridiculously good thing. Or as I like to call it, a extra health potion. Because it gives us that. Oops, if we hit the correct button. And our health has increased. Our maximum life energy has gone up. Aha, there is a bog body or two over there. They definitely don't like us. The worm is freaking out over there. He's like, Oh my gosh, I smell human. I want to taste it. So we're going to give him his wish. Ah, ah yes. It's a rot one. Come on. Ah. Well, we definitely get to ah. dance a lot here. Eventually, he may end up getting back into the corner. Oh, look at him. Look at him doing an energetic move there. Yeah, well, that hurt a little, but in the end, I think I ended up doing a little better than it did. Alright, so this is that misty, nasty swamp that I was trying to avoid going into. And then I came down here on my own an angle that I really could not escape from, so... The whole world is shaking, that's probably not good. The entire world shaking is generally a bad omen in most countries and or languages. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're gonna be dancing with the rot worm again. Come on. He is definitely uh, wiggly. Oh, oh look at him. So if you can avoid his attack, that's how you beat him. Okay, so this is one that you do have to do a side dodge here. I was trying to figure out exactly how he attacked and what his weak side was, or his weak point. Where he was the most vulnerable, and I figured it out. This is when he actually lunges at you. You can't recover, because if you notice, both times he hit me is when I got my counter attack and eventually killed. So, you bait in his attack, and then you do uh, the whole sidestep and ownage. And you kind of walk away victorious, it seems. 
pretty sure, yes. I'm pretty sure there was another rot worm over here. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> Ah. Oh crap. Oh. Ah. Yeah. That surprised me. Get surprised. I got surprised, ladies and gentlemen. That was scary. Oh, oh he spat something at me. Ah. Is there like a rotworm lord? He actually screamed. Oh gosh. Ah. Ah. He actually screamed at me. Ah. Ah. He's like, uh -huh. ah. He's like, you get surprised, ah. kid. Ah. Ah. Hey, you know ah. what? I will trade hits with you if I have to. You're going down one way or another. Alright, an obsidian deposit. I hear that throaty growl from earlier. It's fine. This is what I need. Alright, ooh. I thought we could do it again. I'm like, yeah, the obsidian deposit wants me to love it some more. Nope, 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 nope. No, I took a small sip of something. No, and did I? Okay. There we go. It's all well and good. We're gonna put that away. And we're gonna be like, hello, anyone home? Is there a way to open this place? Is there like a secret button or switch on the wall or a lever or some sort of explosive I can set? I mean, what what is going on here? You'd think there'd be a way in. It's a giant grate here, metal, steel, I don't know. Yeah! Yeah, that didn't really do much. Um... I'm sure there's something simple here, and I'm just missing it. I know what I'm going to do. I think it's time to use some of our scrolls. Do I have a Nautilus scroll? I do. I am now a Nautilus, ladies and gentlemen, and I am going to casually not be able to walk through the gate. Because apparently, not a lie, Nautiluses are not able to do such things. So... As cool of an idea as that was, and it should have worked, I mean, if you go by just basic dimensions here, totally should have worked, and apparently does not, so. There is that, so I'm going to have to skip, skip, skip to my loo all the way through the, the swamp. It's not the jungle or the dungeon. It is a swamp. And we have found a mushroom. And some more random herbs. And it looks like a path of some sort. It may or may not be useful to us in some way. Oh, there's even a campfire over here. We likes ourselves a campfire. Uh, let's tell you that here. Treasure chest. That's got a really, really difficult that lock. Didn't do it. So we're doing a lot of triple. Broke. Ooh, a quadruple. Did it. Boom. Quadruple left and or right and then left. A jaw chisel, we have a small anti-magic crystal, Ooh. and a wing, and a candlestick. That is a very odd assortment of goodies to have inside a chest, but okay. Out in the middle of a swamp, it's, it's, it's a little weird. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it is a little strange. There is a waterfall over here, sort of. Uh-oh. I've upset the bog bodies. I think it's time to see if we've improved in our combat any. It's the last combat with the bog bodies. Oh boy. Well, we did until they double teamed us there. I'll tell you what, you guys definitely recover quicker. Alright, well, it looks like we are going to have to chug ourselves one of these here potions and then deal with Swamp Thing 1 and Swamp Thing 2. There we go, Swamp Thing 1 and 2 are down. There's a Bog Body Heart, a club, another heart. There should be another club around here somewhere, I would assume. Perhaps I've already attained the other club. I don't know. Let's go deal with the worm if we can. It's having seizures right now anyway. It's making all sorts of horrible, awful sounds, so... If we can wreck it, we will. Oh. Too slow on that one. Ah! 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 
Okay, no. Almost, almost, guys, come on. Boom, alright, well, whatever, that worked. Seemed a bit messy, seemed a bit sloppy. Oh, some more bog bodies over there. I don't really want to deal with them just yet. We saw an, an entire plethora of, I'll say marsh ghouls, but that's not it at all. Um, moths. We saw a whole bunch of mouths lingering over in the one spot. I lost the other dead bog body, bog body that I killed. We are over here, and then we came here, and then they chased me, and then I ran over here, and I did battle with them, and I dropped one, and then, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. Apparently, I was too good at murder, that I murdered him so bad that he disappeared out of existence. So let's go this way, and I don't... No, is that a skeleton? It looks like a skeleton. <laughs> it smells like a skeleton. I think maybe it just might. Oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of skeletons in there. Like a whole bunch. You have a mace. That's not cool. Uh oh. Oh, he hit me in the face. That's not cool, man. Oh, oh. I don't like you standing off to the side of me. Come on, guys. One at a time. That's how gentlemen fight. You're skeletons. I don't know how gentlemanly you are, but... Ow, ow. Oh, gosh. Oh, it ended so poorly. We're going to reload, because we can. So combat with several skeletons, not exactly the most impressive thing I could have done. We're going to try it again this time. We're going to mock them a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at us. Oh, we're a bunch of skeletons. We don't know what's going on. Oh gosh, we figured out what's going on. You're hitting me with bad things that hurt a lot. Alright, alright, we got this. Ready? Ready? One, two, and... That did not work at all. So, what we've learned is that I am progressively getting worse in combat, yes, and it's not going well, but it's okay. We're going to try it one final time. We're going to man up. We're going to do it. We're going to drink a potion right in their face and be like, what's up, guy? Oh, hi, hey, you want to play? Bring it on. You know, i got to stop doing the side dash. It does not do me any good. It does no favors for me. Ow, I was a little slow on that one. Alright, let's go chug one of these. The back, what's up? Yeah, I just drank a potion right in your face. Alright, and... Oh, swapping to the front lines. Another person, alright. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh dear. Yeah, just casually drink another potion right in front of you guys, it's fine. Eh. Ow. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, whew. Ow, that was a good jumping leap attack, thank you. Oh, are you kidding me, guys? I apologize. This should be really easy. I'm just gonna man up. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna do it. It's fine. I. Uh, this, this is literally ridiculous that I'm dying here. So my apologies, folks. I should be better than this by now. Uh, I suppose you guys have seen me fight, so maybe not. Oh gosh, what the heck was that? Ah. 
Okay. So it could be worse. Ah, well, almost worked. Oops, they're not all blocking at once. And things are going pretty decent for us. Alright. You guys ready for round 67 now? Oh, you're not waiting your turn, good sir. Oh. Okay. Okay. We did it. We're heroes. Uh, uh. Alright, so now we get a lot of fat loots. That was really, 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 really sad that it took me like, what, four tries? Something like that to actually defeat these guys. I don't know. I don't know. I get a little ahead of myself and I start jumping to the wrong left and right sides and I do like crazy back flips and some front flips and then I fall and trip. Alright, most of those things I just said, not true. But the fact that they could be true is pretty impressive. Alright, so this place looks very, very, very structurally sound and very stable. Should be no problems at all being in here. I think we're going to chuck two of the smaller potions. I'm like, yeah, we just drank two small potions. What? And hope that nothing really, really horrible is in here that's going to eat our souls. I mean, we've already dealt with a couple skeletons. Oh, what is that? Uh-uh, nope. Nope. Those things will wreck me. I am not dealing with them. Alright, so we have finally hit our limit in here. Though, I suppose I could try it. I mean, I've already died several times. <clears throat> I'll see. Maybe it's just one. If it's just one, maybe I can kill it. We're 22 minutes in, guys. Well, it's, it's time to man up and... I think they saw me? Oh, yeah. I definitely think they saw me. War crickets are no joke, by the way, folks. In case you were wondering. War crickets give no crap about you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, I wrecked one. I did it! I killed one, I'm a hero! Jeez, that attack is so... Amazing. Alright, we're down to our last couple potions here. Alright, War Cricket. Get wrecked! Nope. And nope. 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 Oh, come on. Alright, so we killed the two War Crickets, which should never have happened because those things are way too strong. But I feel like we've actually come a long way. That didn't do as much damage as it did the last time we came across it. I know we have 10 more health, but still, 10 health is not a big deal. So the fact that we survived that is actually mildly impressive. We're going to get a little bit more health, just in case we need to run away. Again, I'm going to auto save or quick save here, because I don't trust the auto save, and hopefully this gives us something like amazing, like there's a, a super battle axe of awesome godlyhood or something in here. I'm doubting it, but maybe. Nope, that just seems to be like a dead end that really leads to nothing. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, with a pickaxe, because that doesn't sound awful in any way. So we can get some iron ore, I guess. That's the consolation prize. A pickaxe, some iron ore, and a torch. Really? Here's some more ore. Here's some more ore, because it's so important to me. I mean, I think we can jump up here. Uh, I can't recall if there was a reason to climb this particular... Uh-oh. I think I may have broke the game, guys. I can't move my character at all. Yep, that's not good. So, 
There's reasons, apparently, to do some quick saves, ladies and gentlemen. And those reasons are because I do stupid things like that and get stuck upon high. So, don't jump up there. That's pretty much the uh, the golden rule there. Do not jump up there. Alright, not sure why my guy decided to spin around four times instead of walking in the direction I wanted him to, but it's okay. Sorry, two torches. There are two torches there. Some more ore. Great. Oh, oh, now he says, oh, that time we got a small amber out of the whole deal. I don't know if we did that before or what. Alright, there's no hidden, like, passageways or anything in here, no. Okay, well, I guess we've cleared out to this. We never have to come back here again. It's a sad reality, but, you know, I suppose it's a reality. Um, so, it cost us a lot. I mean, it was definitely not a cheap thing. We took a lot of health potions to get through all the <clears throat> nasty enemies trying to kill our souls, but, well, we succeeded in the end. I think I'm going to break off the episode right here, and in the next episode we'll continue to explore the swamp. Hopefully we can completely clear it out, and then we'll move on to something else. Maybe we'll start heading up toward the... Let's take a look at the map. We'll start heading up toward the um, monastery thingy, wherever that's at. I think we're actually on the road to it. I think if we head in that direction, we'll get there. Just have to actually hit the road and attach to it and then go. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you next time with more Risen. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.